This is Witchbase News for Friday the 29th of May 2020 ...I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news Frontier announced the fleet carriers launch date ...there's an expedition made up of fleet carriers ...we have news of a new community effort to uncover the mystery of Raxler ...there's a live streamed interview with David Braben and we feature some incredible videos from the Elite Dangerous community. If you enjoyed this video consider subscribing and also click the little bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. The second beta for the fleet carrier update ended this week and almost as soon as the beta was over Frontier announced the date that the massive player owned capital ships will be arriving in the live game as the 9th of June. As well as announcing the launch date for carriers Frontier did also make mention of some bug fixes and exploits that were identified in the carrier betas that will be fixed before the long awaited mega vessels finally make their live appearance. Frontiers summary of the beta tests including details on the fixes are linked in the description below. Eremus Kamsel, one of the organisers behind the Distant Worlds expeditions announced this week that he's leading a new expedition with a flotilla of fleet carriers at its heart. The Aphelion expedition will see a total of 10 carriers moving to explorers anchorage near Sagittarius A at the centre of the galaxy before climbing 5000 light years above the galactic plane to Sleeper's Solace where the lead vessel will stay to take its place as part of the deep space support array which we reported on a few weeks back. If you're unaware the Deep Space Support Array which is comprised of over 100 carriers is a player driven initiative to seed every sector of the galaxy with at least one fleet carrier as a stopover for long distance explorers and travellers to use. When the expedition ends the fleet will break up and the component carriers will move off to their own destinations to take their place in the support array. The expedition plans to chart a pan-galactic tritium highway for other carriers to follow in future and Eremus has an open call out for commanders to join one of the carriers to help with the monumental task of scouting, prospecting and moving the Aphelian fleet. There's even a carrier coming back to the bubble afterwards for those that don't wish to stay out in the deep black. If you want to get involved do check out the link in the video description below. And still on the subject of carriers and the DSSA specifically the website Polygon featured the DSSA initiative in an article this week detailing the Herculean task of moving over 100 carriers to various distant points all over the galaxy and it also featured the DSSA promo video created by Commander Eagle 131 both of which are incredibly informative. You'll also find those linked in the description below. Raxler and the search for Raxler is a mystery buried so deep in Elite Dangerous lore that no one outside of Frontier really knows what it is. First mentioned in the novella The Dark Wheel that shipped as part of the original game back in the 1980s what Raxler is is just as big of a mystery as where Raxler is. The mystery upon a mystery has been added to by official Elite Universe authors like Drew Wager and David Braben himself is oft quoted as saying that Raxler, whatever that means, is in the game right now presumably waiting to be discovered. Whilst many players over the lifespan of Elite Dangerous thus far have gone searching for Raxler we are still no closer to finding it now than we were in the 80s. It's with this enigmatic backdrop that a new community spanning initiative has been born to take some positive action to attempt to uncover at least a clue to where or what Raxler might be. The initiative is being driven by Commander Kai Zen of the Elite Week YouTube channel and Discord community and involves tactical background simulation manipulation in an attempt to expand the influence of the Dark Wheel minor faction out from the two systems that they currently inhabit and toward strategic targets in the bubble to, essentially, see what happens. The first target on the list is Sol. 
In order to achieve the goals of the project Kai has formed a coalition of so far 26 Elite Dangerous communities that span the greater Elite Dangerous online community sphere including the Hutton Truckers, Lave Radio, the Hammers of Slough, the East India Company, the Loose Screws Podcast, Newton's Gambit, Down to Earth Astronomy, Commander Ascorbius and even this very Burr Pit. As Kai himself has said there are 3 possible outcomes to all this. Either something happens to further the Raxla storyline, something happens to further some other storyline or nothing happens to further any storyline. In any event with enough participation this has the potential regardless of the outcome to be a massive milestone community event in Elite Dangerous Gaming history. The effort is being coordinated via the Elite Week Discord server and Kai has created a forum post detailing the initiative and the thinking behind it both of which you'll find linked below. David Braben OBE the brain behind Elite Dangerous and CEO of Frontier Developments was interviewed on a GamesIndustry.biz livestream this week. My thanks for the heads up to Commander Yagashura for this. The interview concerns itself with Frontier's transition from a traditional developer to the larger role of publisher developer, how the change came about, what Frontier offers to a developer that is different to a regular publisher relationship and where the company sees itself in the future. Whilst the piece doesn't contain any elite specific morsels David's insight is always fascinating to listen to. And finally I wanted to shine a light on a couple of just fantastic community videos this week. I've linked below to Commander FRJ's latest ship interior layout video covering off the crate phantom. Be sure to stick around right till the end of that one. It's as always just brilliant. And after a somewhat extended hiatus I was very pleased to see the hugely original Mechanic Man's ship inspections and maintenance make a very welcome return with his look around a fleet carrier. It's nothing short of hilarious. Do make sure you watch it. And literally as we were about to render this video Frontier have just announced that Mechanic Man has won the overall prize in the life on a fleet carrier competition and walks away with a brand new HOTAS. Huge congratulations to all the winners and to Mechanic Man on YouTube especially. All of this is as always linked below. That's the end of this weeks bumper edition of Witch Space News. With so much happening in the game right now are you planning on getting a fleet carrier in just over a week or maybe joining one of the many fleet carriers heading out into the black or are you perhaps intrigued by the Raxler initiative? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.